Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. Uh, we're looking at Acts chapter 13. And it says, Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called Niger and Lucia of Cyrene and Mania, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. And as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work wherein I have called them. When they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they went. They sent them away. So they, being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, departed unto Seleucia. From thence they sailed to Cyprus. And when they were at Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the, or in the synagogues of the Jews. And they had also John to them to to the minister. Notice there that there was a proclamation. There was communication. Um. A lot of people say, oh, we shouldn't preach Jesus, we just should show it in our life. But here, there was definitely preaching. And when they were at Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues. There has to be a communication. There has to be a speaking out. There has to be a telling forth of the gospel. There has to be preaching of the gospel. Then verse seven, uh, 6, And when they had gone through the isle unto Pathos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was by Jesus which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, sorry, uh, called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But Elymas, the sorcerer, excuse me, uh, foresaw in his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. So now we have communication, now we have persecution. There's persecution taking place. Uh, in ministry we will be persecuted as we go forward in gospel communication there will be gospel opposition people will come against you and oppose what you're trying to do and then it says then Saul and also called Paul filled with the Holy Ghost as the eyes on him and said oh, full, all of, uh, full of subtlety and mischief thou child of the devil thou enemy of righteousness wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord now behold the hand of the Lord is upon thee and thou shalt be blind not seeing the sun for a season and immediately there fell on him and went about seeking some to lead him by the hand then the deputy when he saw uh, what was done believed being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord and when Paul and his company loosened from Pathos they came to Perga and Pyphemia and they departed from them and returned to Jerusalem sorry God it she knows um, but then he said verse 12 then the deputy when he saw what was done believed being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord so we first of all we had communication then we had persecution and then we get perseverance Paul stays he, he doesn't get off track he doesn't leave the battlefield for the Lord he continues to stay there and then there's fruit a man gets saved people get saved and that's a pattern that as we communicate the gospel there will be persecution as there is persecution we have to persevere as we persevere we will see the fruit okay 